Hi, I'm Nate. And I'm Kate. I'm Lauren, and this is my friend Adam. We're here today at Anderson Japanese Gardens, and earlier today we were at Rockford Art Museum in Rockford, Illinois. Today we started the day off at Rockford Art Museum, brought our daughter Lauren and her friend Adam. We'd never been there before, so we thought we'd go and check it out. Um, Adam and I are in art class together, and when my parents told me that we were going to the art museum in the gardens, I thought he would really enjoy it. Yeah, I'm really glad she invited me. Um, my favorite piece that I saw at the Rockford Art Museum was, it was this red um, piece of artwork, and it was like people that were cut out, and they were all holding hands or arms around each other. Um, my favorite piece of artwork was, uh, it was like this mummy figure, and it had like these cuts in it to make it like the cloth was wrapped around it, and it was painted like with this creamish color, so it looked really real. Another one of mine is, it was, it was like an edge, and it, it was like a green and a brown, and it came out and it curved, so it was kind of, it was like a 3D thing, and then there was another piece at the end. There was this huge canvas, and it was made by the Zoe brothers, and there was one part of it, uh, the one brother outlined the other one, and then painted it with black paint, which was really neat. And then the other one, just they did splatter painting over it, and it was just all mix of designs, and it was really cool, because they were just drawing stuff that, at the time, was on their mind. My favorite part in the Rockford Art Museum was in the lower level in the permanent exhibit. Uh, I believe it was called a family tree, and uh, there were antique frames with uh, leaves in it, and cut out in each leaf uh, was the name of family members, and uh, whether they were mother, father, etc. And they were cut out in stencils. It was just very beautiful. What really surprised me was um, that how many paintings there were, or just artwork. There was an upstairs, and then you could go downstairs, and there was more artwork. My tip for anyone coming to the Rockford Art Museum um, would be do a little research before you come about the artist so you know what to expect. Well, I really enjoyed the gift shop. I went there with my daughter, Lauren, and um, it's just a great place to go and look for some unique presents for people. Uh, note cards to paperweights, frames, and they even had some uh, art you can buy from artists. Uh, the first thing I noticed when I came into Anderson Japanese Gardens was the new um, visitor center and restaurant. Very beautiful. We saw it while it was being constructed, and to go inside of it, um, it's just gorgeous. The amount of different types of plants all strategically placed and and different locations and the beautiful pink flowers and all the waterfalls and uh, water features and the Japanese architecture there's so many different areas to stroll through and and um, get to out of the way little nooks and crannies little boardwalks and bridges and waterfalls and oh we saw this tea house and it was really authentic and um, just the way they designed it and everything just looked exactly like the ones in Japan. The thing that really surprised me was that as you're by the pond, uh, all the fish and geese and ducks, they're just really peaceful and calming and they don't bother the humans and it just makes you feel really relaxed and just to enjoy all the scenes and beautiful nature. Um, what surprised me the most was as you're walking on the paths and you're like in this really pretty area you realize that you're really in a town and it's like it just endless walking and beautiful trees and plants and rocks and it was really neat. Um, I would probably tell my friends today that um, we walked on some really neat paths and got to see a lot of nature, walked over some really pretty bridges and we went around some ponds and some animals came up and would let us see them and they wouldn't run away. It's smart to wear um, comfortable shoes um, there's lots of areas that you walk through that um, there's uh, flat rocks, stones, grass areas, so you really need to make sure you wear comfortable shoes. You know, take your time. Bring a book to read, to sit back and enjoy, and uh, just sit by the waterfall and, and relax for a while. A tip I would give to families who are spending the day in Rockford would be to plan to stay for dinner. There's a beautiful new restaurant at Anderson Japanese Gardens, and we're heading over there right now. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Go Rockford podcast. Rockford is conveniently located just 60 minutes west of Chicago's O'Hare International Airport and a world away from the traffic and hassles of the big city. To discover more about the real original Rockford region, visit GoRockford.com or text GORock to 30364 to receive updates on your cell phone.